I'm Carrie with the CPQ experts at Renaissance Tech. Today we are going to take a general tour of Infor's Enterprise Quoting Platform, which is the multi-channel quoting tool, part of Infor's Cloud CPQ bundle. So our areas of focus today are going to be the configurator itself, which is the heart of this suite, uh, creating a quote in Enterprise Quoting with configurable and non-configurable items. And then finally, we're going to look at converting quotes to orders and just how easy that is in, in for CPQ. Let's go ahead and jump right in. We begin on our user homepage. This is completely customizable to the user, whether the user is an inside sales rep or an external customer. We have a catalog of relevant widgets to choose from. Some I have selected for myself are bookmarks, my organization's social feed for collaboration, and then my task list, which includes workflow tasks for quotes that need my approval. We add a new quote, and this will be for an established customer. These customers may be pulled from your ERP with ERP integration, or they may have been entered manually by the user into enterprise quoting. To begin configuring an item, the user can add a known item directly to our quote here, or we can choose to browse the product catalog. Within the product catalog, we have many options to choose from, both in configurable and non-configurable items. Today, we are going to select this 3D forklift. Once we choose to configure this item, we are taken directly into the configurator screen. On the left-hand side, we can see where we will input our selections and preferences. And on the right-hand side, these changes will reflect whether this is through static imagery, 3D visual configuration, as we see here, 3D CAD or 2D drawings, all as options to visualize your products. We make our selections and we see we are constrained by the product rules that have been set in place. So we're presented only with the options that are available to us as a result of our previous selections. This protects the manufacturer and the user from selecting options that are impossible to manufacture. As we're finishing up our configuration, we navigate up to the detail panel, which lets us know all pricing information if you do choose to display this to the end user. We can also see a complete summary of all of our selections. From here, we will finish the configuration and it takes us back to our quote summary page. We can see that the item successfully transferred over to our quote page. Now we would like to add a non-configurable item to this order. This time we are using the add item feature and we will just type in what it is that we want. We're going to pick the forklift safety sign and add that to our quote. So we can see here now both items are successfully entered into our quote. Perhaps we would like to add a few more signs for our facility so we can update the quantity there. And then now with our quote just about finished, we have the option to email the quote to our customer right here, or we can generate a document to download a PDF. Let's say we spoke with the customer and they are ready to order this quote. So at this point, we simply click convert to order, confirm that that's what we want to do. And now this has changed to order summary. We have one last opportunity to review this order for accuracy before we submit it. And as long as everything is fine, we select place order below, which lets us know our order has been successfully submitted. It also kicks us back to our quote page where we can see this quote that we've been working on was submitted successfully as an order. And if we navigate to the order page, we can see the same here that the order was submitted. At this point, our order is pushed into our ERP if integrated, where it also sends along the work order and bill of materials. All right, well, thank you so much for your time today on this little guided tour. I uh, hope you enjoyed everything that you saw here today. Whether you currently have an Infor CPQ project that you need assistance on, or if you're just starting the journey of looking at product configurators, we want to talk to you. So reach out to us, contact at renaissancetech.com or leave a message for us in the comments below.